Hi everyone, welcome to this video. We're gonna talk about volume of prisms and volumes of cylinders. They're basically the exact same formula. You're gonna see that pretty quickly. As long as you calculate the area of the base and multiply it by the height, you're good to go. So we're gonna start over here first with volume of prisms. And I need you to know that the capital letter B stands for the area of the base. H simply stands for the height. So in this rectangular prism, if I was to calculate the base, it would be six times two. I'd get a base of 12. The height of that prism is three, and simply the volume formula is 12 times three, which is 36 units cubed. Over here for a cylinder, now pi r squared is the base, it's the circle. So it's really the exact same formula, it's base times height. So we're gonna take the area of the circle, multiply it by the height. Area formula for a circle is pi r squared. So if my radius there is four, it's simply pi four squared, which becomes 16 pi. My height is seven, and if I multiply those together, put in my calculator, round to the tenth place, I get 351.9 units cubed. Pretty simple. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at the prisms first here on the left. So this is a parallelogram prism. It's got um, opposite sides that are parallelograms to each other. It's not a perfect rectangular prism. We just need to make sure that we see that the base is actually eight by four units, and then the height of the entire prism is three. So here I would take a look, my base of my prism is eight times four, um, which would be 32, because the area of a parallelogram is base times height, and I would then multiply that by the height of the prism, which is three, and I simply get 96 units cubed. Here I have a triangular prism, so here I need to know the area of the base. Now this base is a triangle, it's a right triangle. I have a hypotenuse of 10. I have a leg of six. Think about that. If I divide both of those by two, it's a five and a three, which should get us pretty familiar with a three, four, five Pythagorean triple that shows up so often, which actually means that this base of the triangle is eight. If I did 10 squared minus six squared, I would get 64 and the square root of 64 is eight. So now I can do the area of the base. The area of the base would be one half base times height. So one half eight times six, which ends up giving us 24. Then I can actually do the volume. So the area of the base is 24 multiplied by the height of 15. Remember height is the length from base to base. It doesn't always have to be vertical. Um, so once you find the area of the base, this length here would be the height and you end up getting 360 units cubed. The last one here is a trapezoidal prism. So I need to find the area of the trapezoid. Remember, area of a trapezoid is one half times the height times the sum of the bases. So one half times the height of the trapezoidal base times the sum of the bases of two and five. That ends up giving me 12.25. Then I need to multiply that base by the height of the prism, which is eight units. Kind of looks like a gold bar. Um, and it's the same idea here. The height is not always vertical. The height is the different, the distance between the bases and I get 98 units cubed. For my cylinders, same idea. So area of the base, which is pi r squared, because that's the circle multiplied by the height. Now here I'm given the diagonal length of 13 and the height of the cylinder is five. I need to know the radius. So what's actually happening here is this is a right triangle. I need to calculate that radius, which if I doubled it would be the entire leg of a right triangle here. So five squared plus the diameter squared would be equal to 13 squared. If I end up doing my math for my diameter, I end up getting a diameter of 12, which then means the radius is six. So the volume of this cylinder would be pi times six squared times my height of five calculator pretty much does all of the work for us at that point and we get 565.5 units cubed. Here pi r squared h so I'm given my height of 20. My radius here would have to be 5. The diameter is 10 so pi times 5 squared times my height of 20. Again calculator pretty much does the work for us. We get 1570.8 units cubed. Last one this would be a cylinder that is shifted. And what we need to know is whether or not the cylinder is shifted or not, the formula is still the same. But we're not given the height here, we're actually given the slant, this 25. So we just have to make sure we know that that's the case. Now if this length is 25, then this length is 25. 
And again, we've got that built in little right triangle. And if I find the leg of this right triangle, that's going to be the height of this cylinder. I know my radius is six. So here I have seven squared plus B squared equals 25 squared to figure out that height. If I end up doing my math, I end up getting a height of 24. So I know my radius is six. My height is 24. Six squared is 36. Multiply that all out and we get 2714.3 units cubed. Pretty quick lesson, guys. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.